I have a statement. All right. Motion to adjourn. What, what, hold on, I was gonna. Oh, sorry. Just make a statement. Um, we're now 75 days away from the election. Um, I, I just want to kind of reflect on something. When I was a teenager in Troy, I had a good friend, <clears throat> still have a good friend, Nick Havens. Nick's a Dem uh, Republican. I was a Democrat. I can remember this time of year being on the bus in 1996, and he was giving me heck about Bill Clinton, and I was doing the same thing about Bob Dole. Um, here's the thing about Nick and why I still call him a friend today, because Nick could see and voice the flaws in his own chosen candidate, and in doing so, I learned the importance of doing the same about mine, and I think that's a lesson learned from Nick and why I still talk to him today. We give each other space to let down our guards. With Nick, politics is not about needing to prove that my desired candidate is 100% right 100% of the time on 100% of the issues. We don't have to beat the lights out of each other. We didn't have to call each other the devil and in the process lose the goodness that our parents put into us. We learned that important lesson at an early age, that good citizenship is bigger than any person and true civics is bigger than any election. No candidate can demand of me as an American that I check my curiosity, my honesty, my humor at the door, nor should I feel obliged to choose a candidate I likely will never meet over a relationship I can have with my friends and neighbors that I see every day. Mr. Chairman, I was blessed at an early age to find my neck, and I trust in the next 75 days with the temperatures rising that everyone can seek out and find or reconnect with the neck in their life too. Because when the dust settles on this election, the only constant in anyone's lives in this county will be the people with whom they share the great communities we love. Preserving the grace and hu humanity of those relationships is more important than any candidate I support. When the dust settles on this election, I'll be left with the memory, potentially, of being told that I'm the problem, that somehow I've subverted the passing whim of the few, while all I was doing was being too busy upholding the rule of law that I've committed my life to preserve and protect for everyone. I fully expect in the next 75 days, my fellow commissioners and I will be ridiculed for doing our jobs, chastised, intimidated, threatened, or perhaps far worse. Facing that, it could make me bitter, but in our democratic constitutional republic, if it means anything to me, in order for me to appreciate the full tapestry, I have to attend to the firmness of every stitch. Otherwise, this fragile fabric revered around the world is just a threadbare piece of cheap cloth identified more for its holes than its wholesomeness. Mr. Chairman, I recognize the divisiveness of the last eight years may make what I'm saying difficult to embrace. Harsh words have been said and bad intentions projected upon our political foes, but consider this. If imperfect former political opponents can sit together at this commissioner's table to do the work of the people collectively, together, trying, failing, trying again, speaking with one another, learning from one another, then as God is my witness, there is hope for this country. There is happiness and consensus in feeling that you're right all the time. But I say that there is joy to be found in our differences. So let me suggest something else. Rather than shouting down our opponents, with whom we vehemently disagree, invite them to join us for a cup of coffee or a glass of milk. You cannot shake hands with a clenched fist. Maybe if we give ourselves the space to be wrong sometimes and the grace to find our way back, we may save this country from our darker inclinations, and we will do so just in the nick of time. If you cannot tell, this is a matter that is deeply personal to me. But I also know we are very passionate all I ask is at this time, listen more, speak less, hear one another, and remember we are all neighbors. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield the balance of my time.